Hello, this is Albemarle Digger. I don't know about you guys, but I sure am ready for some spring weather. All this snow uh, sure makes it hard to do any relic hunting, and I've got a bad case of halcytosis. Anyhow, this Thursday morning, February the 11th, 2010, it's been several days since we've had that big snowstorm that dumped masses of snow here in the state of Virginia and, and all along the East Coast. Uh, this is what it looks like driving out my driveway this morning. All the clearing uh, that you see I had to do myself with my Ford 2000 tractor with the front snow blade. Uh, the snow was pretty heavy so there wasn't really much of a place to push the snow. You just sort of had to push your a path wide enough to get your vehicle out of. Here I am turning onto a section of driveway that I share in common with uh, one other person, which is my closest neighbor. And it's not but, uh, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards long and it uh, takes us out to the closest state maintained road, which you'll see right here at the mailboxes. This intersection catches a little bit of the afternoon sun. so. Uh, a lot of the snow actually has melted off and it's in this particular area. However, even though it's a state maintained road, you'll notice that when I turn on it, lo and behold, the state hasn't maintained it. Everything that you see plowed here is what my neighbor or I plowed. Uh, we worked together with our tractors to try to get the road clear so people could get in and out the emergency vehicles could get if they need to. Anyhow, we're going down a north face slope and headed down to Stockton Creek, which is right at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> may not seem too apparent in this footage, but this north face slope is still fairly icy and it's got a dusting of snow which makes it real slippery. You have to take it real slow and you need four wheel drive to get in and out, but uh, I'm in my Jeep and it does a pretty good job. Here's the bridge crossing over Stockton Creek. Uh, as you can see it's still pretty packed with snow and not much of a place to push it off of the bridge. We've crossed Stockton Creek, we head across a little flat area, and up a south facing slope. Uh, this slope catches a little bit of the afternoon sun, so where I was able to scrape it down to the bare dirt, some of the snow has melted away. But for the most part, this south facing slope is still icy and 
snow covered, so it's pretty slick too. These road conditions are stay pretty much the same until you get all the way out to the main highway, which is Rockfish Gap Turnpike. Approaching the intersection of Brownsville Road and Shelton Mill Road. This is the closest state road intersection to my house. As you can see, the roads are in pretty bad shape right here. A lot of icing, so it's hard to push the snow out of the way. Most everything is frozen, and uh, this is a pretty rough section of the road. As we turn onto this section of Brownsville Road, you'll see that it's no, not in any better shape than uh, Shelton Mill Road, which we just came off of. But this is only a short section, and pretty soon we'll be hitting 250. You'll see that it's actually been pretty well cleared. approaching 250. As you notice, the road here is a solid sheet of ice. Be a while before this melts off. But as I turn on 250 going westbound and see all this nice dry pavement, I realize that spring is just around the corner and all the roads will be dry soon and I'll be back to relic hunting in no time. I sure am looking to that time, and I'm sure you all are too. Anyhow, thanks for coming along with me, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. As soon as I can dig some more relics, I'll be happy to share them with you in another episode of Albemarle Digging.